Okay, folks, here's the unboxing of a uh, new brake for the 6.5 Grendel. Uh, the company is called Trident Muzzle Brakes. Uh, fella, I think he does his own work, uh, his own CMC shop. Uh, but the uh, reason I purchased this is to find out if it makes a difference in terms of 6.5 Grendel, which is, uh, you know, doesn't recoil very much anyway. But I was kind of my six point my six millimeter arc does have a muzzle brake on it and it does help as far as compensation for muzzle rise so I thought I'd put this on there at least the 20 inch Grendel uh, for hunting purposes to see if I can uh, not lose my scope alignment after the shot is taken uh, here it is uh, it's got four ports I sort of like this there the ports are not pointed backwards there pointed straight out, uh, so that uh, may mitigate some of the problems with some of the uh, brakes that I've seen where gas is kind of forced back into the position of the shooter. It also has these four ports on top, uh, that acts as the comp compensator. I'm kind of excited about that, uh, except for I would probably prefer they were more sideways uh, out like that uh, because this could uh, you know throw some type of mirage or some type of gas up to where it uh, mutes the scope picture but you know what we'll see uh, the reason I bought this specific one first of all it priced right and uh, the guy had very good reviews and it had this self timing uh, device on it uh, so I didn't have to mess with a crush washer or any of that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and get it installed. Uh, you know, I just got it today. It came in a nice package. Uh, came with uh, instructions that seem to be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and transition over to the rifle and let's go ahead and put it on according to the instructions. Okay, here's my 20-inch uh, barrel. As you can see, I already have a thread protector on it. I already sort of broke the lock, so let's go ahead and take that off. long thread. Okay then according to the instructions you're supposed to take the uh, this nut and run it all the way up against the brake uh, finger tight and then go ahead and screw it on your barrel. Go ahead and get it all the way on they said. Okay and then once it's on you can see that the timing is not correct so it said to go ahead and to hold the nut and go ahead and unscrew this portion until it is timed at the top or where you want it. Let me check for level there. That looks pretty good. And then you go ahead and tighten this by holding on to this and tightening to where it is where you want it. Okay, that looks to be pretty good. All right, then you take a wrench and kind of tighten it, lock it down. So that's how simple the installation is. All right, so the next step is we'll see out at the range and uh, we'll go ahead and see how it works. Okay, uh, let's hope you can see the difference. I've got the tried muzzle brake on my 20 inch 6.5, my 20 inch barrel of my 6.5 Grendel. I'm going to be shooting just six shots, three each of the Sierra Tip Match King, uh, 107 grain, and you saw the statistics on that in the previous video. And then these are my ace in the hole, these are uh, Sierra 120 grain. Uh, Pro Hunter. Uh, flat base bullet, very accurate, uh, and has killed a couple of deer. So there should be uh, quite a bit of difference in recoil between the 120 and the 107, but we're going to see how uh, 
this muzzle brake uh, tames it if there is any. Okay, so target cam is on down there, 100 yards, you know the rules. Here we go. First three will be the 107 grain Sierra tip match king. Okay, I do feel a little bit of a puff coming back into my face, but uh, you know, you probably can see it on the video better than I can see it uh, because the recoil has never been a factor with the 6.5 Grendel. Uh, so I can't really say whether it's less or not, but you can see whether or not there was any muzzle flip. Okay, so now three of the 120 grain. Sierra Pro Hunter. I really like these bullets. They perform very well on deer. That flat base bullet uh, is a little bit tougher than the boat tail bullet, especially in at close range, if you're shooting deer at close range. All right, here we go. So you saw those first three, did you mark them on the... So watch where these go now. Hi, that's what I figured, because they are slower. These are about... Uh, 175 feet per second slower because of the heavier bullet. Well, I think you can see why I like that bullet. Okay, folks, this concludes the Trident. Uh, well, it's a combination uh, brake and compensator. I got it a pretty good deal. Uh, look them up on the internet. Uh, it didn't hurt the accuracy. I don't know if it improved it. Uh, I don't really know if it improved uh, the recoil because, like I said, the Grendel didn't recoil very much anyway. Uh, but I'll review this video just like you will to see if I can see any muzzle rise or if I can see any noticeable uh, kick on me. But that'll do it, folks. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I enjoy talking to people when they leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. There's also a little bell icon if you want to be notified of my next video. So thanks a lot, folks. Appreciate it. God bless you all. See you later.